guys, it's Thursday, March 28th, and I thought that I would do a check-in for this week. I swear, these vlogs are just going to be the most relaxed. I try doing, like, every single day, and you know what? If it's just a couple times a week and it's a check-in, like, I'm just going to let you know and vlog how I vlog because I don't really like to place a lot of rules on myself. Anyway, you may be surprised because I started a little life to see me holding this up still. And I screwed myself this month so bad and I kind of knew I was doing it and it was stupid and I shouldn't have done it but essentially I wanted to read A Little Life, I wanted to read Worlds of Winter of the World and I wanted to finish A Game of Thrones. That's three pretty hefty books. That's a lot of hefty books to like place on myself in one month and then as far as like my reading habits this month, I felt like the time that I wanted to spend reading, I just had to spend doing other things. So I really did not do a lot. Like there were probably like at least a week or two of days that I didn't read anything at all. And normally I try to read between 50 and 100 pages a day. That's usually my goal. And I've been lucky to read like 15 pages a day some days, although this is exciting because if you watched my last vlog you'll see that I failed the last couple weeks and not really like I say I failed I'm mostly joking it's my pressure that I put on myself so I really don't care I would like to have read more but like it's my life whatever but anyway I decided instead of trying to get all the way through a little life my goal was to finish this one and I am actually like I think I've finally hit 550 pages so I don't have that much left if I can keep this going because I just read like 100 pages yesterday but anyway I read a ton yesterday I started catching up I'm feeling better um but I just had like there was some videos I was editing I had a photography job and I don't work often so I was spending time editing the photos it also took me I took a day to like take the photos and it's just, you know, life. Life just got busy. And then, like, Rainer had a concussion. And I did read a little bit, but, like, he wasn't allowed to watch TV. He wasn't really allowed to do anything. So we were hanging out and, like, talking and hanging out. And I didn't want to just sit him in the room bored, not talking to him while I read and did things he couldn't do. So we just hung out while he was home. And also the weather was kind of eh, So we couldn't really go outside and a lot of times I go outside with the kids and they play and explore and I read which is, which is why I tend to get a lot of reading done in like the warmer months because we're outside all the time I don't have to do as much cleaning because my kids aren't destroying the house and we can all just hang out outside and they're always entertained there's bugs there's sticks there's mud there's rocks there's chickens there's our dog there's just there's so much outside to keep them entertained that I don't have to be a referee as often. I just wanted to update you and let you know my goal is to at least finish this one by the end of March, and that will mean that I at least completed my three book minimum. I, I'm loving this book. I forgot how much I loved it the first time around because it's been like six years since I read it, but I'm loving it. I'm like tabbing it up, writing notes and stuff. I have, I think I showed you this in the last vlog, but this is what I'm gonna do with them is just put a bunch of stickies in the back and I have a whole bunch of quotes written down, um, like plot points, different like guesses and just different things that I found, a bunch of like spots where there's like foreshadowing and stuff that I obviously didn't catch the first time around. Super interesting. I'm thinking I might do like a dedicated book talk on each of these as I complete them because I feel like a Game of Thrones is making a comeback on booktube. Like when I first got on here in the summer I felt like no one was talking about a Game of Thrones I just figured it was like something people were writing off because it had been like overhyped and like over talked about but I feel like a lot of people are like starting to pick it up again and I'm here for it I'm really excited I love watching other people's videos on it because it's actually a series I've finished all the com like all the books that are out I'm pretty excited because I did open all like the windows and doors that I could and I let the house like air out today because it's one of those beautiful, okay, it's not a beautiful day, but like comment below or like this video if you get what I'm saying. When you get like at the beginning of springtime, the rainy days that just smell like spring, like it just smells beautiful, that's today. It's not sunny and bright. It's actually kind of rainy and windy and bleh outside, but it smells like spring it smells amazing and so I love to in the springtime just like open up everything and just let it blow 
through the house. It just like makes everything smell fresh. Okay, I'm gonna go read a Game of Thrones. I made, it's so hot. I made like a giant jar of mint tea so that I didn't have to go down and make a second cup. So, life hack right there. Hey guys, it's Saturday evening and today was a win. So yesterday I vlogged a little bit like you saw that clip from us being outside. I did not read a lot yesterday. I think I might have read like 20 pages. It was so nice out and I had to do errands pretty much all day. Owl and I got home about 2.30 and we didn't go back inside until like after 5. It was so so stinking nice out like Rainer got home from school and we didn't even go inside we just played outside for a long time because it was beautiful outside but today was so rainy it pretty much was rainy and gray all day and I think the rain let up for a couple hours this afternoon it was actually pretty mild out but it was so mucky and I just didn't want to deal with being outside we stayed inside all day it was a little bit of a sometimes the kids get like cabin fever when they're stuck inside and they want to be outside they just get a little a little out of sorts and they just do not get along very well anyway I did manage to while they had quiet time bust out a huge chunk of Game of Thrones are you ready for this today I hit 700 pages which means that my goal of finishing this by the end of March is so close as long as I can read like 90 pages or so between now and tomorrow we will win we will get our three books finished for March and I will be happy god how much I loved this book it was so good and I find that even on the reread I'm still getting like hyped and like kind of stressed during like fight scenes and stuff even though I know what happens but it's still like getting me so anyway Jared and I are gonna go watch TV now and I just wanted to update you so this is why Canadians can't acclimatize to things. Yesterday it was 12 degrees and today, well tonight, negative one and snowing. Guys, it won't stop. So much snow. Look at it. I mean it's pretty but like it needs to stop. Happy Sunday guys. So, this is exciting. I finished the last 100 pages and it's still early in the day, which means that I'm gonna be able to do more. Anyway, this book was so good. Everyone is so loud. Anyway, as I was saying, this book was so good. I forgot how great the ending of this one was, like a perfect setup for wanting the second book. Oh my goodness, loved it. Oh, there's just like there are so many things to say about this book and I'm so excited I need to film just a book talk on this book because I really want to film one on each book in the series now that I'm rereading them they're so great um, but I'm really excited because I finally finished my third book for March which is great because I did not think I was gonna get there but I did it anyway I'm gonna end the vlog here and I will talk to you all in next week's vlog. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!